everyone, welcome to a brand new Sims 3 speed build. I have done this voiceover many, many times now. Um, I've gotten halfway through about 20 times, not 20 times, like twice, but um, I was getting interruptions and phone calls and all sorts. So I just had to like leave it and then start again. But anyway, this house is called Bluebell because, you know, it's a very creative name for the house considering there's a bit of blue on the front and um, yeah, that's about it. That's why it's called Bluebell. Um, I'm getting really creative with these names, you see. But no, um, yeah, it's Bluebell. I don't know how many bedrooms there are. There's actually quite a few. It's a small looking house, but like, you know, from the front, but it actually goes quite far back. So there's about, how many is that? Four or five bedrooms upstairs. I don't know if there's one downstairs. There might be, I'm not too sure, but either way, pretty big house, good size for a family if you've got a lot of kids. And yeah, it's really nice. I really like it. The download link will be down below on Dropbox. Um, let me know if you're okay with Dropbox. I obviously don't really download from it a whole lot. Like, and even if I do, I don't really get houses from it. But um, let me know if the links are okay, you're downloading the house is okay, or if you've any problems with it, because if not, or if you're having problems with it, I can try other things, it's not an issue. Um, but just thought, you know, try something new instead of The Sims resource. So let me know if that is okay for the past couple houses, if you have been downloading them. Um, but yeah, uh, let's get on to a few topics in today's video. The first one would be um, about doing a possible Q&A. I would love to do a q and I feel like it would be great to like, for you to get to know me better, I guess, because I've never really done anything like that before. But if you had any questions at all, if you left them in the comments, on Twitter, anything like that, I could like write them down. And then when I have a, like a good few questions or like enough to do a voiceover with them, that I could do that. But one thing I was thinking was, would I do a voiceover for a speed build? But instead of talking about my day or certain topics or the bill itself, if I just did a QA and a instead answering the questions or if I did it as a whole separate video and yeah, like I don't really know like how I would do it yet. It's kind of something I would consider. But if you had any questions, leave them below. I'll check them out and, you know, I'll answer them and I'll see like what kind of things you guys are asking me and everything. Um, But yeah, I feel like it'd be really cool because like for you to get to know me better, I guess, like I just said, but yeah, I feel like it'd be really cool. The next thing is a world makeover, uh, custom save file, things like that. So if I was to take like Sunset Valley, for example, and every single lot there, give it a makeover to suit me or give it a makeover for my building style, would that be something you would be interested in? Whether it be interested in seeing or playing in yourself or downloading, whatever, would it be something that like would be interesting to you because I would love to do it I would like I feel like it'd be really cool but obviously I'm so used to doing speed builds would you be interested in lot renovations or what if I looked at the family who lived in a house in Sunset Valley for example I'm trying to think of an example the goths if I saw the goths and I was like okay they're very dark you know they're they're goths of course it's in their name what are their traits okay do they like gardening if they like gardening i'll add a big garden into their house do they like painting if so i'll add an easel and make a real creative looking house i will like build a custom house to suit the household that lives in the lot that i'm going to be replacing that could be a cool thing too and then obviously in the voiceovers i could be like this is for the goth household and they like this and that and all sorts i feel like that could be cool because like i'm building a house but i'm also renovating Sunset Valley too. Um, in terms of community lots, I don't know how I'm going to do it or what the plan is exactly, but that could be kind of a cool thing to do. Um, but yeah, I will see how things go. Let me know if you have any like, you know, feedback, anything about it, because I would love to hear it. It would be really helpful. Um, but uh, yeah, or if you have any other like ideas, like if you like that idea, let me know. But if you don't, let me know as well, or let me know what you prefer. Um, okay, the next thing is like lot renovations in general, not even just for a custom save file, but if I was to take like, for example, again, the goth household, if I was to take their house and renovate it, not to suit them as such, but even just renovate it completely to, you know, fit into like Sunset Valley, instead of being a big goth house on the, you know, 
biggest hill in the town and all sorts. Like if I was to just completely change it, not to look like an EA house, but to look like a house that I would build, would you be interested in that? I feel like a lot of renovations, I like them, but I don't know if I would want them to replace a Saturday speed build, you know? So let me know your thoughts on it. Again, like with the world makeovers, let me know your thoughts on it. The next thing would be live streams. I am not streaming on Twitch at the minute, of course, as you can probably tell. Um, it's just one of those things that I just don't have time for. And when I ever do have time for, like I, whenever I have time to actually stream, like in a couple of weeks, I might not have time because I'm back to school or whatever. But what if I was to do um, like live streams, whether it be building houses, playing with a household, even if it was continuing the household that I started playing with on Twitch, um, what if I was to do that on a Sims live stream on YouTube? Sims live stream, obviously, what else am I gonna do it in? But uh, like a YouTube live stream instead, they're obviously not gonna be super consistent because I don't have time to be doing it super consistently. But I feel like it could be kind of cool because then I can alternate between doing videos and live streams. I'm not getting overwhelmed by having to do a live stream every day or anything. Just if I have time, I could, you know, hop on and chat with you guys and play a bit of Sims. I feel like it could be really cool to do that. If by any chance as well, you do want to see my old uh, Twitch live streams about the household that we were playing with then, everything is on YouTube on my other YouTube channel, which is like New Lavods or something. And you can check it all out there. Or even on my Twitch channel, everything is saved. All the VODs are there ready for you to watch them basically you just watch them go through all of them and everything but if I was to do it on YouTube continuing on with the same household and I could you know fill you in on it and what the story is behind them and everything but I feel like that could be cool obviously to do that I would need to get custom content because I don't have it anymore for like create a sim I would need to get some for that but yeah no I feel like it could be a really cool thing to do to kind of incorporate like streams into it like I said they wouldn't be every day they wouldn't probably even be once a week it could be just very very random whenever I have a chance we hop on stream and I play with the household and uh yeah I feel like it could be a fun little thing to try and include just so I don't get sick of like just building because obviously that's what I do once a week or like I build a bunch of houses one week and then I slowly edit them, edit the screenshots, do voiceovers and upload them weekly as the weeks are going on, I guess. But I feel like it could be cool to try something new. So yeah, um, let me know your thoughts on that again, of course. Um, in terms of streaming on Twitch, I really don't know what the plan is for that because I like YouTube having the option to upload videos and also stream if I want to. It's kind of nice to have that mix and be able to you know, change it up a bit and yeah, let me know your thoughts and I will see how things go with that or what I kind of am thinking revolving that topic. The next thing is um, other games, like if I was to play other games. So if once a week I was say like on a Wednesday, if I uploaded a house flipper video of me renovating a house or if I started a little Stardew Valley save file and once a week maybe, once every couple of weeks, whatever, uploaded a new video on that. I don't know how I would do it, I don't know what the plan actually is, but I feel like it could be kind of cool to incorporate different games and different ideas into, like, you know, into my YouTube channel and into my little schedule, I guess. And it'd be one of those things where it would not be my main focus, and if by any chance I just didn't record a video once a week, it's not a big deal because my main focus would be, like, the speed builds and stuff. So if by any chance I didn't do a video of me playing Stardew Valley one week, it it isn't an issue and it's not something I'll kind of be like, oh, I'm sorry about this because it just is not going to be like a main focus, I suppose. It's more just like an extra video a week, whatever. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on that too. Like, you know, I have so many things to talk about, but let me know your opinions, thoughts, any like information or advice or feedback, whatever. I would love to hear it. It would be so handy. And it would just really help me, th like, you know, plan out things and see what I want to do because I have no idea what I want to do either. So it would be really cool to see if you have any information about what I could do. The next thing is a couple of voiceovers ago, I think it was in 
treetops, but I'm not so sure. But I mentioned that a cat appeared at our house, um, a little black and white one. I put a photo up on the, you know, video, you could see it on the screen. Um, that cat is not here anymore. We don't know where it is. Um, obviously the cat Miriam, who we had, um, she, Miriam is like the newer stray cat we've gotten. But Miriam did not like that new cat whatsoever. Anytime that new cat would go up to Miriam, the new cat was so friendly. Anytime it would go up to Miriam, Miriam would run away or hiss at the cat or like try and like hit it or something. Did not like it whatsoever. And that led Miriam to run like through the back of our house. The back of our house behind it, we've got a field, run into the field and that black cat followed it. Miriam came back to our house and that black cat is nowhere to be seen so we don't really know what the plan is or the the plan we don't know what the situation is um in terms of the cat we don't know where it is um but you know like obviously we're gonna keep an eye out um in case it turns up again but so far it's been a couple of weeks and there's no sign of it at all so um yeah i don't know we'll see we'll see how things go and any like any updates i'll let you know but um our other cat davy who was the first stray cat we've had him for two years he leaves, like, he would leave our garden for, it could be, like, five days or something like that. Five days in a row, he would leave, and then there'd be no sign of him. He'd come back, bawling for food, crying so loud. We'd feed him. The second we feed him, and you'd go out, and you might go out into the garden to be, like, you know, looking for him or anything, he's gone. He is left already. He comes back for food, and that is it, and he is already out of the garden. And then the cycle continues, and five days later... He's back again, crying for food. He came back yesterday, as I'm recording this voiceover, yesterday evening. Because I heard him crying. He was outside my window, obviously. He knows where to get my attention. But I went out to him and he has gone so skinny. And he's eating so much. Like we would feed, we have two cat bowls outside, one for each of the cats. I always fill both of them because Miriam wasn't there. So I was like, okay, I'll feed both of them in case Miriam turns up. Or even if Davy's just really, really hungry, he can eat the two. It's not an issue. It's just to feed them. And yeah, so he might have eaten them both. I actually don't know. But um, no, he was really skinny. So I was saying that to my father and he, he said he might have worms or something like that. But we'll keep an eye on him. Obviously, when I went out again to show my father how skinny he was, like Davy was nowhere to be seen. So that's great. That's just amazing. But no, we'll keep an eye out and see how he is how he's getting on because he goes off like hunting he's definitely like a hunter but he doesn't really like catch birds or eat mice and things like that like our other cat does um so we don't really know exactly what he does but yeah we'll keep an eye on him anyway and see you know we'll see what happens with him and see how he gets on i suppose the next thing is subscribers i am so close to like 300 um it's growing our channel my channel is growing so quick basically I want to thank you so much that in another voiceover, I think it was in Westbrook, by the time I'm recording this, Westbrook is not out yet, but when Westbrook goes out, I think in that voiceover I mentioned how I was so close to 200 and obviously we're past it now and that video is not even out yet, we're past 200, we're like 250 something, I can't, I don't remember exactly, I haven't checked, but um, yeah. Um, I really appreciate it and I wanted to say thank you to everybody who's watching videos, subscribing, liking the videos and commenting. I see it all and I acknowledge all of it, you know, because I really, really appreciate it. But obviously, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, we're getting so close to 300, which on Twitter I said was my yearly goal. At the end of the year, I said that 300 would be a great goal for me because I was about halfway there and I was like, I'm never going to get there. Like, it's just, it's an ambitious goal. It's February, midway through February, and we are nearly there already, which is crazy. And I just want to say a big thank you. And by the time this video goes out, I might be past it. I have no idea. But if I am, thank you so, so much. But if I'm not, I still thank you because it's been crazy seeing everything, like growing and everything. So yeah, big big thank you to you all for supporting my channel and watching the videos and everything. I'm going to keep trying to make videos and all sorts. Um, and yeah, I really, really appreciate it. So thank you all so much. And we're coming to the end of the voiceover. All my socials will be below, Twitter, whatever you want to see. 
the link for the house will be in the description below as well like i said don't forget to subscribe um because i upload once a week and you don't want to miss out on those videos because i just ramble on about absolute nonsense for 15 minutes so i will see you all in the next voiceover enjoy the screenshots and i'll see you in the next voiceover um which will be next week so yeah also let me know your opinions on videos like i mentioned in the voiceover and i will see you all in another video goodbye